All right, yeah. so let's go to the statement that started this, all this, this that triggered this. Mm -hmm. um, so the statement, I am who I am. <laughs> Welcome to the No Common Measure podcast, where we tell stories that will guide and inspire you to look at your life experiences differently. example if someone is coming in new and they don't know what trauma is and they don't even know that their actions are being driven by trauma how would you explain that to them so for example someone survived like in a tough area for example let's say in africa they survived a war right some of them will not know that there, there's trauma stuck in them how would we begin to identify traumas in ourselves because that's important ourselves first before someone else well first of all if you have been through a war you, and if you have been through you know situations in the families where you, one might have been removed from their family and all of that it's quite clear we have trauma and in that case i really recommend to work with a, a psychologist that is you know specializes in trauma and so on but uh you start to um uh, know you will know that you have trauma when you start to feel like your uh, assessment of the circumstances, the memories, and, uh, you know, even like the events in front of you don't make sense. And there is a very strong physical response mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm sure everyone, you know, had once experienced a situation where you were in a relationship with someone, might be someone at work, your boss comes and talks to you and immediately you feel like flooded with an emotion or you have a response and, and then you start to see this person almost like your enemy in front of you, but they're basically there as a messenger. And, and then you, you're not, not really making sense of things because you are being informed by these memories stored in the body, stuck in the body. We call them implicit memories that are, somewhat altering your sense of awareness in that moment yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, to give you an example if even in the workplace people who have experienced stressful situations with bullying in the workplace for many times many times and you know usually we go through a stressful situation we we get the stress levels high heightened and then they lower and so a normal stress curve you have you know, arousal and then recovery. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you don't recover and then you have another one and you have another one, you start to hit this threshold where you start to defragment, you know, like we fragmented your, your memories and associations about those things become fragmented. Mm -hmm. And so you don't make sense of things anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is really held in the body and it can impact how you perceive situations down the track when you are at work again mm -hmm. another in, in company with another boss so it's very important for you to sort of go like hold on a minute am i am i having a, a objective assessment of the situation mm -hmm. am i feeling something in my body that it perhaps is kind of almost like feeling like you've been taken over like yeah. hijacked mm -hmm. your behavior has been hijacked almost like that mm -hmm. and so you can you can guess that there was something in the past that was too much for you there was no one there to help you make sense of the situation and that still lives in, within you mm -hmm. in your energetic field in your nervous system in your body yeah yep so i actually read somewhere that uh trauma can show up in many ways it could show up as you being lazy it could show up as you being angry all the time it could show up as you just dissociating from everything that's around you which is which means that almost anything can cause anybody trauma it depends on who you are you know you could walk outside your house and see like a giant bear standing out there and you'll be scared and you'll be traumatized you might cause you not to go outside again but for some people that would just be normal like i've seen this before i'll just go on with my life so that's what trauma is about all right yeah. so let's go to the statement that started this all this this that triggered this um so the statement i am who i am, <laughs> who I am. Um, you know i've heard people say this so many times and i'm like sometimes it makes sense when they're saying it to motivate you to 
you know, achieves a goal, like, or if you're chasing something, but if you are causing harm to people, you saying I am or who I am, or I am what I am just doesn't apply because now you're causing pain to other people. And it means that there's pain inside of you that you're trying to hide, which is something that you mentioned in your um, statement. So can you explain your statement to us, what the reply that you made to that statement 